is climate. It is climate. All right, let's bring in Senator Marsha Blackburn, who was in the classified briefing on TikTok with Intel officials earlier this morning. Uh, Senator, good to see you. Thanks for being with us. You, uh, you were in the hearing. Obviously, the Senate's moved a little slower on this TikTok ban than the House has. Was the briefing compelling to your colleagues? It was compelling. And indeed, if we take an action based on what we heard today, we will take an action quickly. We should be doing it now while we're waiting around to get that funding bill from the House. And you know, Sean, everything we heard today confirmed what we have been hearing and what we've been finding out about TikTok and their association with the Chinese Communist Party. They're owned by ByteDance. China has a national security law. Chinese companies and Chinese board members of companies like ByteDance share that data and information on users. And TikTok knows the other apps that are on your phone. They know your keystrokes. They know your relationships and your friends. This is something that we do not need 170 million Americans on because it is Chinese spyware. And we would never encourage a foreign adversary to be spying on our citizens with TikTok. That is what is happening. So I say declassify the information from the hearing today. Let the American people see what is happening and what China is doing to our young people. Well, America is seeing the fact that this spy app and propaganda machine has been weaponized. Yes. At, at the, essentially at the direction of the Communist Party of China. That's right. The, by them attacking, sicking these users on elected officials in the United States. We've seen it That's in the right. House and now against the Senate. Senator, where yes. do your colleagues Democrat and Republican stand in terms of uniting in banning this app and enforcing the yeah. sale of it. Dagan, I think they stand with taking an action on this. I think we'll do something sooner rather than later. My office has had 1,400 calls. We have had death threats. We've had calls that have threatened to kill the president. We've had calls that have threatened suicide. We have one call that the Capitol Police has already investigated. They had to call the school. They had to call the parents of the person that made this call. The FBI is having to investigate these calls. What these kids do not realize is they are committing a felony offense. They are committing a crime. And if parents are listening, you better be sure that your kid is not calling into these offices and making these threats. So I think you have seen how they will weaponize it. They take a young person. They have so much data on you. They know who your senator and your congressman is. They allow you to touch the screen and connect you immediately to them so that you can say whatever it is you're going to say and these threats are being made and of course they have to be investigated so thereby capitol police and the fbi no are having to investigate these well if the congress can't pass a ban now it doesn't get any easier yeah. easier a year two years five years That's from right. now so hopefully the senate will act in a bipartisan fashion senator marshall blackburn always a pleasure to see you thank you for being with us always thank, thank you, you. thank you